especially for folks who um, may be tuning in and, and meeting you for the first time, um, to know more about the setting of River's Edge and how you decided to kind of keep building these, um, these stories from different people in the town, different families in the town, and, and how they're all like interwoven together. River's Edge started because I am in love with the town of Madison, Indiana, which is a little tiny town down on the, the Ohio River at the, in southern Indiana. And it's just the most beautiful place. And it's full of history and, and wonderful festivals and shops. And um, it's right on the river. So a lot of the life in the, in the town is, happens you know, because of the river. And um, so when Tuli asked me if I would be willing to write a series about brothers, I said, well, I have about a winery series. And they're like, sure, let's do that. And I said, is it okay if my winery is set in Indiana instead of California? I wasn't sure how they'd feel about that because wine, Indiana is really not known for wine, um, but they were all about it. And so the first series that happened in River's Edge was the Flaherty Brothers, um, Borish Brothers Winery Series. And the town just kind of grew from there and each series that's come after the Lang brothers and now this one um and I'm working on series number four right now more wow. more stories from River's Edge um the they have come from the people who have been secondary characters in the previous books and so it's been really cool to put in these little you know hints that maybe this is the next family or the next group of people that are going to get stories and everybody in the town has a story. And so, you know, there's there are characters in each book and you kind of follow what they're doing. But then the secondary characters in each book happen, you know, they get a story, their story kind of sort of continues. And they may not get a book, but everybody in the town has a story. So it's been a lot of fun. I just have been, I've had a ball creating this town. And I know it's not what a real small town is probably like, but it's fiction. So who cares, you know? So. I, I mean, I absolutely love the idea. And for, for folks who are joining us live, we're displaying a beautiful book map of mm -hmm. River's Edge that you can kind of see just how, like, how warm and, uh, and just like the world that you've created. And I just think that it's one of the neatest things that I've heard.